Sports such a big thing here in the low country, especially high school sports. Uh, it may be a good time for us to catch up on the view of high school athletics and activities from the from maybe the, the 30,000 foot level or at least a few hundred miles away. Carissa Niehoff, the uh, Chief Operating Officer of the National Federation of High School Associations joining us. Uh, Carissa, Happy New Year. Uh, last time we talked, I think we were all talking uh, about trying to get us through the whole uh, the COVID pandemic. Are we through it from a, from a national standpoint or are we still having to, to be careful? That's a great question. Thank you for having me back, <laughs> sure. by the way, and Happy New Year. Um, I think we are through it from a majority sense of return to activity. Okay. Um, we're, we're still struggling with really what to do to be continually ready for um, recurrent strains of the virus and things. But to, it's safe to say that we're through it, we're back, we're playing. Our participation numbers are only 4% short of where they were pre-pandemic, which we think is a good thing. Yeah, that, that is a, a good number. Um, do you see it, is the trend line to do even better than that? Or are we now in an era where there's gonna be a little bit less participation? You know, that's, that's something we've been watching for a while. Um, in certain sports, we've seen a little bit of a trend downward, but in other sports, we're seeing explosive trends upward. So they kind of bent, balance each yeah. other out. Overall, however, I think we're looking at kids and their choice to participate in general, whether they have other options like employment or other distractions, relationships, something. <laughs> but why are kids not continuing to increase that's what we're really looking at from a broader perspective other than COVID. Yeah, Carissa, you talked about things, uh, sports that are seeing an awful lot of growth. What is hot these days? Sure, well, girls wrestling uh, really? has exploded. Huh. We have girls wrestling championships in 33 states now. Um, girls flag football, uh, thanks to a great partnership with the NFL and RCX uh, Incorporated. We have grant programs for girls flag. Boys lacrosse is uh, really gaining uh, some strength. Okay. And in working with USA Football, we're looking at five on five flag as, you know, we're looking at football for the Olympic program in 28 in LA. Um, and we're also looking at 3x3 basketball okay. um, on an international national stage. So um, we're seeing increases in a number of sports. Tying things to the Olympics is, it seems to be a great idea these days uh, with the Olympic thing still uh, still fairly big. Uh, speaking of football, uh, you know, we're, we're getting all of the different, uh, you know, football's taken a beating from a lot of different sides these days, uh, particularly with safety. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure we're probably seeing a bit of a decline in participation. Uh, where's, where's football headed? Uh, yes, we have seen a slight decline in overall football numbers for 11 player football. Mm -hmm. But what we're seeing an increase in is six, eight and nine player programming. OK, so we might be losing an average of four players per team across the country for 11. Um, but where where they can't field a full team, they're going to nine, eight and six. Okay. Um, we don't know all of the reasons, but we do know that we continue to increase resources for our scholastic programs. We've got, again, the NFL support, USA Football support, Sports Medicine Advisory Committee. Right now, the game has never been more focused on risk minimization, Good. and our injury rates are reflecting that. We're down in concussions. We're down in other uh, injuries to body mm -hmm. parts, so we're, we're happy to see those downward trends in injury. I've got about 20 seconds here. Give me your best pitch to get more people to want to officiate games. We've got to treat them well. We've got to respect them when they come to our sites to play. They need a water bottle, a safe place to change. <laughs> they need a handshake and a thank you. They need a good solid remuneration check. And then everybody in the stands, we've got to behave better. Enough is enough. We are causing them to leave and we've and the kids are embarrassed, quite frankly. We've got to behave better so our kids enjoy the experience as well as our officials. You got that grown-ups? Get better. Thank you so much, Carissa. We appreciate the time. Carissa Niehoff, the uh, Chief Operating Officer of the uh, National Federation of State High School Associations. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Happy New Year.
We want to thank all our guests for helping make us maybe just a bit smarter today. And we thank you especially for joining us here on the WHHI Daily News. I'm Bob Stevens. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes.